I want to find the uh, <coughs> values of the sine of 5 pi over 4 and cosine of 5 pi over 4. Now to do this, draw a unit circle and determine what point on the unit circle corresponds to this uh, value. Now if I went a distance of pi along the unit circle, I would be at this point. So then if I go another pi over 4, I would then end up being at a point like right around here. And so what I can do is draw a little triangle of this sort. All right? And since it's a unit circle, from what we know about the sine and cosine of pi fourths, we know that this length here is square root of 2 divided by 2. And similarly, this length is the square root of 2 divided by 2. But we can see that this point is in the third quadrant. And so both the x and y components are, um, are negative. Therefore, the cosine of 5 pi over 4 is negative square root of 2 over 2. And the sine of 5 pi over 4 is also negative square root of 2 over 2. Now this is the general technique of using reference angles to figure out cosines and sines of certain special angles. And you do it all the same way. You draw a little triangle and then you determine lengths by what you know about the reference angle. You determine the sine by observing which quadrant it's in. For example, in the third quadrant, there both coordinates are negative. The second quadrant, the x coordinate is negative, the y coordinate is positive, and in this uh, fourth quadrant here, you have the x coordinate is positive, and the y coordinate is negative.